right, we are cutting the BS today because usually people only watch a minute of the video and they skip away. I just got my final copyright strike on my channel removed. It is gone. It's permanently out. It's out the window. It's done. Today is the day that I make my return to YouTube and I come back with even more content for the masses. Today is the day. Now, with that being said, I have a very special announcement. I'll be making videos every two days for the rest of the year. Now, with that being said, I will not play any games. This is my schedule, my time, my time to shine. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. It's the Bump Battle Music of Amari. Hey y'all, this battle means by Amari back at you with another video. You know what it is. So I'm starting to think that a lot of y'all super fanboys are really starting to forget the events that went on in Dragon Ball Super. Hi, um editing Demi Yacht here. Um I just wanted to point out the irony of this guy saying that Dragon Ball Super fanboys forget what happened in the series, but this entire video uh is just proof that he didn't watch the series from start to finish probably didn't watch any part of it at all just saw some youtube clips and thought he could make a video about it but um a little bit ironic if you think about it either that or you just don't want to remember because goku and trunks were pretty damn even before goku went super saiyan 3 how is this base super saiyan god if that's the events that happened in super so you say that Goku's power level in base is not that powerful in Super, which is bullshit. I mean, first and foremost, if you actually go back and you watch the series from start to finish, you first understand that Dragon Ball Super picks up like seven years after Dragon Ball Z is over, right? And in those seven years, Goku has not done an ounce of training. And when he does, it's very minimal because Chi Chi has been keeping him on a leash, telling him like, hey, you got to stop training, bro. The world is safe. Get to work, right? Like he, like she Benson or something, bro. Like you have to forget, like for seven years, Goku did not train. So most likely he'd be like relative to the same level he would be at like at the end of Z, right? Think about that, okay? The only reason Goku got like a significant power boost and the reason why like he's gotten significant power boost throughout the entirety of Dragon Ball Super is because of God Key. Now, no one is telling you that automatically he has like God Key in his base. No, they're saying that they, he can implement it in his base. And that is true because in order to become a Super Saiyan Blue, you need to be able to use God Key in base and become a Super Saiyan off of that. Now, with that being said, yes, Goku's energy and God Key can be used in his base form. That's obvious. That is what everyone is saying. Now, with that being said, if he can use it in base, why can't he use it in like other forms like Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3? Oh, wait, he does. I keep trying to tell y'all, Goku's base form is not that powerful in Super. It, it's not. Even in the manga, Vegeta pointed out that Trunks Super Saiyan 2 was at Super Saiyan 3 Goku's level. Yes, because without God Key, Goku is still at the same level as he was at the end of Z. Like that, that's just common sense. What? You're forgetting like the like the Universe 6 tournament arc happens like directly before this, right? Like, and guess what they're using a majority, like actually through the entirety of the arc, God Key. You don't ever see them train in base because they're always continuously training their God Key, bro. Without God Key, they'd be nothing. So that's what they have to focus on. Remember, Trunks doesn't have God Key at his disposal, like at all. So he has to train his regular stats. And with that being said, yes, he does train his regular stats. And when he does, think about when he does, he is at the level of no God Key Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He should be because he's been training for like, I don't know, the last time he's seen Goku, which was like in, um, in what's the name? In uh, the, uh, the Cell Saga. And keep in mind, the Cell Saga happened 15 years before the start of Super. Uh, editing Demigod and back again. Um, once again, just wanted to acknowledge that I got that part wrong. Actually, um, it's 11 years, but whatever. Like, come on. Like, you, you can't pick and choose what you want to use from the manga and what you want to use from the anime. You know, facts are facts. It's right there. You, you, you can't do that. Life doesn't work that way. And even against Gohan, bruh, Gohan passed out going Super Saiyan 2 at the beginning of Super. Now you're trying to tell me that Goku can't beat him in his base form? He has to go Super Saiyan Blue? I mean, even before that, as a Super Saiyan 2, Ultimate Gohan was, he was, yeah, he was there with Goku. 
All right, so God clearly has no idea what the term holding back and reserving power is for. Keep in mind, this is a training bout, not a fight to the death. I get that Gohan wanted Goku to go full power, but by proxy, that does not mean that he did. Now, I do understand that he means like, yeah, like Gohan does say like, you know, dad, you're holding back forms from me. I understand that completely. But even at the same time, you can still use a certain level of power while you're in your max, like, your, your, you know, your max transformation. Goku can still be in Super Saiyan Blue and use 20, like 25% of Super Saiyan Blue's power. Like, that's still a possibility. Like... You don't have to go all out when you reach your maximum state. I don't understand. Like, bro, if you don't believe me, then ask Goku and Vegeta why they were always continuously powering up in their first fight. Vegeta had no Kaioken, no Super Saiyan. It was just him as a regular Saiyan, bro. And he was powering up, signifying that he was not using all of his energy. Like, you can still do this stuff. I don't understand, like, how you are a Dragon Ball content creator, but you don't grasp, the, like, the, the general simple findings of the Dragon Ball lore. I don't get that. He was damn near at the same level as him. They were basically at the same level as Goku was a Super Saiyan 2. And then, when Goku went Super Saiyan Blue, Gohan was still getting them licks in on him. So, come on, bro. Like, really? How is his base all that strong? I mean, seriously, this Gohan can't be that powerful. He's he's basically at the level that he was fighting Majin Buu at. Are you are you serious? Are, are are you serious? He's referring to the bro. Oh my god. No, he's not referring to the power level that Gohan would be at after he attains the transformation again. He's referring to potential unleashed. Yes, that is the power that he used. However, for you to assert that he'd be at the same power level, right, in Dragon Ball Super, it's asinine. It's stupid. That makes zero sense. Why would Dragon Ball Super openly make a giant power regression? That makes zero sense. Like, that makes zero sense. The entire purpose of the show is to be super. Why would you regress that? That makes zero sense. What? Though I do agree with the statement and the notion that Dragon Ball GT Goku was way more powerful than Dragon Ball Super, I think what you're using is very weird because of the fact of how, um, yes, we do get it, but all of that to prove why like Dragon Ball GT Goku is stronger, you don't even have to do all of that. Give Goku like the respect that he is like that he's earned in Dragon Ball Super because Dragon Ball GT Goku still outclasses that by a long shot, like. It's not even funny, bro. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Like, for real, for real. Like, I'm just saying. But with that being said, that was my debunk on uh, Battle Music of Omari. This guy just has, like, a weird fetish with, like, trying to shit on Dragon Ball Super as, like, you know, in terms of power scaling, but doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Like, I, I never understand that. I don't understand why people, like, make videos, but they don't, you know, like, do the time to research, like, you know about their video I, i'm just saying it's weird to me so like you know i can't really like you i can't relate but with that being said it's been your boy demi god and uh yeah i'm out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.